For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number three of the Become a Legend slash My Player series here on PES 2018. After a rather unexpected, and as you guys quite correctly pointed out in the comment section that I didn't pick up on, perfect hat trick in the last episode. Not only did we score our first goal of our career, we scored three. A header, a left footed shot and a right footed shot to give us victory in our third game of the season here at Millwall by four goals to nil. We hopefully will be able to follow that up with a good display here away from home against Reading in match day number one. We are in the starting lineup. Unsurprising. We're 69 rated now. We've gone up one overall already. And uh, after the game against Reading, as you can see on the right-hand side, the transfer window will close and we'll push on towards the January transfer window where hopefully I might be able to get myself a move away from Reading up into the top flight of English football and maybe to the top flight of uh, another top European league. But for now, I'm going to concentrate on the game against Reading. I'm not sure who we've got after that, but... As always, starting up top in the 4-4-2. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too for more from this series and of course the full FIFA career mode series that's going up on the channel every single day as well. But for now, I'm going to try and get myself another goal or two. Harriet with a through ball looking for Jan Kermorgan or Kermigan. I don't quite know how to pronounce it properly, but he's creating something here for Reading. Harriet back to Vandenberg, back to Behrens. I have up to the difficulty yet again to, uh, I believe it's called Top Class Player. We started on regular. I'm going to try and push up here, but unfortunately Steve Morrison has lost out on possession. I started the series on uh, regular and then upped it to professional, and I've since moved for the last episode. And since uh, episode two, I have moved it up from professional to top player or top class player or whatever it's called. The one underneath the current highest uh, difficulty setting. So we'll see if... Uh, we get any more exciting gameplay with it on that level. If not, uh, I will drop it back down to uh, professional again and see if uh, you know that's the best difficulty setting for exciting gameplay. Not only for me to play, but for you guys to watch as well. A number of you asked me to uh, push a little bit further forward in the midfield or from the midfield and towards the front line. But I'll be honest, I have... Let me try and drill this into the box. Well, there's an assist. And my guy decides to run into the net. Well, there's an assist for us after 11 minutes. Ryan Tunnicliffe gives us a one-goal lead. As I was saying, a lot of you asked me to be... Uh, well, you thought I was dropping too deep to get involved in the play. So I'm going to try and isolate myself a little bit more up top, along with Steve Morrison. And maybe that will lead to a few more goal-scoring opportunities. But I don't want to be so isolated up top that I'm not involved in the play. That's why I find myself dropping deep. Just so you saw that I got more than two highlights per game to bring to you. Thankfully, first proper highlight of this game is me getting an assist for Ryan Tunnicliffe. So we lead by a goal to nil here against Reading and we were, quite obviously, very heavily involved. Great drilled ball across the box and all he had to do was slot it home, which he did. 1-0 Millwall. Oh, it's a lovely through ball. It's going to go to Morrison, is it? No, it's, I am going to get there. I'm going to drill it hard and low. It's a good save by the keeper. Oh, and he nearly got there, the midfielder on the follow-up. I didn't really have the option to square it that time around. Went for the shot instead. Keeper does well to stop us from getting a 2-0 lead inside the opening 15 minutes or so. Reading trying to create something of their own now. Harry inside to Behrens but cut out nicely by a defender. Dominating things so far here at the Medeski. Given away. It's good football. Oh, good save by the keeper. Paul McShane will stop that from going out for a corner. And Vito Minone will pump it clear. Win that header please, defender. He's done well enough. I'm still here in support, although... There's a number of defenders between me and the ball now, but we are going to find ourselves with the ball at my feet. Ah, it's a poor pass, though, unfortunately. Not able to make it 2-0 for a second time. Now Adrian Papai is in at the other end and very nearly scores to equalise. Good strike, well saved by the keeper. Chance is coming thick and fast now in this first half. Also disappearing quite quickly is my stamina as well, but we've at least gotten ourselves a breather there by winning the foul. The winger on the left-hand side cuts in nicely. Morrison back to the man. I'm not sure whether I was onside or off. Oh, good touch and then early shot and it's dropped free. But thankfully for Reading fans' point of view, the home fans, they have been able to clear it away. I just timed my run well there. Somehow they've given it straight back to me for some reason. I just managed to time a run without going offside. You saw the little offside flag come up next to me. That's a nice inclusion. So you can actually tell if you're offside or not just by looking at your player. And the flag did come up, but just after the ball had been played. So I was onside as I burst forward. 
get the ball back here and I'll look for another assist if I can time the pass but unfortunately I can't 10 minutes to go till half time still 1-0 Millwall although Callum Harriet is in behind here and they might have the opportunity to equalise still but he's got no support yet waiting for players to arrive and we've dealt with it well up high to Kermigan got the run up decided not to use him through the middle and they've gone all the way back to their defence here Reading not been anywhere near as influential in this second half as they were in the first. To be fair, we've not created much in this second half either. It's good footwork from Behrens and plays in Callum Harriet and will go for the return ball. He's got options in the middle if he can get across in, which he has, and it will reach Popeye. But thankfully, the defender does well to get rid of it. We'll play it out from back rather than just hoofing it away, which is nice. But we do ensure that, or need to ensure that we keep possession, he says, as he gets himself tackled. Callum Harriet forward to Jan Kermigan. Good turn. You see the run coming from deep, but looking for Adrian Popeye on the far side again, but not able to find him for a second time. 20 minutes to go. Slower second half for sure, but the lead's still intact. Oh, the ball. Oh, it's shot free. A mix up between the defender and the goalkeeper, and Reading equalised. The ball played into Jan Kermigan was outrageous. But he should never have been able to score in that situation. We'll have a look at the replay. But that should... You can see the ball played in. It looks like it was scooped to the outside the foot almost. It was. That's disgusting. But a mixed up between the keeper and the defender. And Jan Kermigan... <sighs> just pokes it home. 1-1. Behrens down the line for Bodvarsson. Again, Reading have options in the middle. But can he find the space for a cross? Behrens might be able to do so. Has done. McCleary's there, wide of the target. Good opportunity for Reading that to perhaps win the game, but not able to take it. That round the corner there. And then it's played down the line. I'm busting a gut to get in the middle. I've not got much stamina left. Steve Morrison is in the box. I'm on the edge. If they need me, I'll call for it. I am not going to get it. Flicked on and wide of the target. A goal kick given, and that might well be the last chance of the game. I believe we're in stoppage time now. Uh, and we are, and almost out of it as well, as you can see. Plus one minute added on, and only 20 seconds to go. And there's the final whistle. The mix-up at the back has cost us two points there. A draw. Involved in the first goal, very pleased to have been so as well. Unfortunate not to be able to score myself with a couple of chances of my own. Reading dominating possession. Minimal chances in the game. I got a 7.0 though, which was level on uh, rating with the other man of the match, Jan Kermigan. So we'll take that and assist to go onto our record. And we'll push now out of the transfer window and into the next game. Team of the month for the championship has been announced. I'm not in it, unfortunately, but teammate Steve Morrison is. Quite frustrating not to be involved in that. I did get a hat trick and uh, two assists in the month, but unfortunately they've gone with Steve Morrison instead. Never mind. We know personally that we had... A very good uh, a very good week, or very good month even. It was team of the month, not team of the week. But we're in the starting lineup for the next game, which I think that said was against Middlesbrough. Find out momentarily. It's in the uh, the Cup, the Football League Cup. And uh, it will be against Middlesbrough on the 12th of September. Right then, this will be a difficult game actually. Middlesbrough, a very, very capable side. Wish me luck. What now? We'll play back to... The left back, early cross, looking for Steve Morrison who gets there, an early goal again for us. Daniel Ayala got caught underneath it and we lead after three minutes against Middlesbrough. Just a random ball lobbed in towards the box. I'm not sure how the defenders weren't quite able to deal with that. He's just knocked it back there and an early ball, he just had to watch the defensive line and then I, think, I don't think Ayala knew he was there. I think that's the problem for the defender there. He just didn't know that Steve Morrison was in behind him. The ball is going to get whipped in. And he's just watching it over his shoulder and doesn't know that Morrison's behind. Turns around and is like, oh, shit, there's a, there's a striker there. And he's headed it into the near post. We lead by a goal to nil extremely early on. Fabio with the throw for Middlesbrough into Lewis Baker. Gets caught in possession, though, and it drops free. Now, can we get them on the counter? Forward in towards Steve Morrison, but Ayala gets the better of him this time around. Adama Troyo to Lewis Baker. That wasn't far away. Hit very early. Adama Troy, rather pissed off at his teammate there, though. Played the ball into him. It's really poor clearance. And then that first time hit, was it close? That ah, was further away than it looked on second viewing, but never mind. Middlesbrough proving that they are capable of creating decent opportunities early on in this game. Could have been 1-1 after just seven minutes. 
Adama Troyore into Martin Braithwaite again. Adama Troyore to Grant Ledbetter. This is a good move by Middlesbrough, but they need to wait for support people in the middle. Now they've got three or four. Lewis Baker gets there and the keeper gets rid of it thanks to the help from the defender. Not sure whether he actually got anything on that, but uh, the man in the middle. But Oh, I see the opportunity to play the through ball, but I've overhit it, unfortunately. Really good save. I'm not sure whether the man in the middle, Lewis Baker, got anything on that. Tried to flick it on further towards goal, but it was a really good delivery into the box. 34 minutes played, still 1-0 Millwall. Hopefully this time we won't give away the lead with a dodgy piece of defending. We've got throw. We're just edging possession as well. Myself and Steve Morrison in the box. Nice little flick. Good cross. Morrison underneath it. Beat the defender to the ball again. This time wider the target. Good delivery in. That touch there was rather nice. Good cross. And oh, defender got caught underneath it again. Just mistimed his jump, but Morrison unfortunately not able to turn it home. Oh, it's lovely ball played through to Stuart Downing, who can't finish. Solid save by the goalkeeper. I would have put money on Stuart Downing putting that away. The goalkeepers on pairs do seem to be a lot better than the keepers on FIFA. Really, really good stop by the keeper there. Fully expected that to be 1 1. As it happens, we might be able to get ourselves in with an opportunity at the other end to perhaps make it 2-0. Here's Steve Morrison. Lays that back to a teammate. I'm here on the edge of the box. I'm going to get myself back towards the penalty spot. Cross could come in. Again, we're working it around on the floor. This is really good football. It is into me. I'll spin. Oh, I can't remember what... There is... I believe there's a button to dive or a button combination to uh, press to dive. I'm not sure what it is. If you guys can let me know in the comment section then do let me know because I probably would have used it in that instance and we might have been able to get ourselves a penalty or a booking for simulation, but occasionally it might be worth a shout. So tell me, I'm pretty sure, at least there used to be a button combination you could use to dive. If it's still there, let me know and I will use it on occasion and perhaps try and cheat the system a little bit. Oh, but he can't keep that in to cross it into the box again. Give that to Morrison and I'll go again. I'll run around him. It's good footwork. I'm still here in support. Ball played over the top as I'm Troy cuts it out. But we want it back again. We get into the box. It's a good ball in. I've won the header, but tame. It just kind of bounced off me to the keeper rather than that being a, a, a genuine shot, unfortunately. Never mind. Still 1 0. Less than half an hour to go. Otherwise, we are going through to the next round of the Football League Cup. Ball lofted forward. Is he on side here, Steve Morrison? He is! Middle of Defence falls apart. A brace for Steve Morrison. Just a random ball from the back. How was he on side there? The defender's nowhere to be seen. I want to see a replay or two of that. Ball played out by the keeper. You can see Steve Morrison there. And there's one defender just so deep. And he's pointed for it. He's just on side. It was only just. Probably level. And then he smacked that right to the roof of the net. It's a great finish. But should he have even had the opportunity in the first place? The number six there that plays him just on side. Very, very close, but the linesman didn't put his flag up, and that's an emphatic finish, just making sure, putting his foot straight through it. We are 2-0 up now, and that should be us through to the next round of the cup. Downing, back to Baker, to Ledbitter. This is a good move. Rudy gets dead involved off the bench. Adama Troy with a turn. He's going to get to that as well. Keeps! Again, great save. That's going to be a corner as Daniel Ayala pushes forward from their defence to win it but how has the keeper kept that out A how has Adama Troyer gotten to that and the defender hasn't closed him down but that is a top save the keepers on pairs are so much better than the keepers on FIFA and that really should have been a corner that came off the defender I'm certain of it oh well goal kick for us 20 minutes to go can I get a turn on the defender here I've got to get it under control first and I haven't been able to do that but we have won the foul somehow pretty sure that wasn't a foul but never mind can we get a third goal maybe I'm going to look to try and drift in behind here I've got to stay on side though first and drifting behind, but it's not to me. It's flicked on, and that'll be the keeper's ball. I'm here in a central position, and he will play me in. I'm going to try and turn away from the defender, but unfortunately, Ledbit has taken it off me. Now, Rudy Gestead and Daniel Ayala, of all people, pushing forward, might be able to create a counter attack for Middlesbrough. There is still five minutes left. There's time to score two. They will need to score two, and Rudy Gestead could get one. Keeps! He's so good! He's so good! What a save again! Keeper is determined to keep a clean seat here. Middlesbrough have easily, easily had three clear-cut opportunities. One with uh, Gusted there, one with Stuart Downing in the first half, and another with Adama Traore early on in uh, the second half. But they haven't been able to put the ball into the back of the net. Unbelievable goalkeeping. Oh, that's a great ball as well, and I'm onside here. The chance to kill the game off well and truly. Oh, I'm not fast enough, though. I'm going to try and turn inside with a fake shot. Maybe look for a pass. 
Ref! Oh no, this is, ah, I wish I knew what the dive button was, although he definitely got something on the ball there. Oh, that's so frustrating. I was in a really good position, but I just didn't have the pace to get away. Early days in our career though, there's plenty of time to improve on our physical side. But a 2-0 win in the Cup, Steve Morrison bagging both the goals. We are through to the next round of the Football League Cup. Let's drop back to the menus now and just see what the situation is in the league. Steve Morrison getting man of the match. No surprise. But we'll see what happens next. I'm not sure who we've got next in the league or where we are in the league. Any shocks? None that we can see there. It's all championship sides playing each other because, of course, uh, they don't have any League 1 or League 2 sides on the game, unfortunately. But such is... The case of things when EA hold the majority of the licenses. We are up to 70 rated though. We are continuing to grow. This is great news. We're growing very, very well. I didn't expect to go up by two ratings this early on. We're already 70 rated. I presume, rather obviously, as we get closer and closer to, towards the, uh, the upper reaches of the ratings, that it will become uh, more and more difficult to get those high ratings. But as you can see, we are definitely progressing above the expectations so far. Three goals... Two assists after five games. Really, really pleased with how things are going so far. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. In the next episode, we will face Preston North End in the first game in the championship. We're in the starting lineup. No surprises there. But for now, that's going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.